This is my spinner project. You need a list. I made a list of dog, cat, giraffe. They're separated by a comma. I'm saving that in a file called list.txt. You have to have a list of objects. You have to have more than zero text items separated by a comma. The maximum you can have is 24. Save that into my project folder. I go into my project folder, open project.py. Give it a list. It makes a spinner like this based on the list that you give it. It has a little arrow. You click on the arrow, it spins. It tells you what it pointed at. It's a decision maker. If I change the list to save that and run, it will give us a spinner with exactly the choices that we made. In the main, it gets the list of items. It's looking for a file called list.txt. The user would make that file and they would put a list of items up here on a spinner. It makes a turtle. I called it tort. Tort is the turtle graphics. I didn't use turtle graphics because they're very slow and I needed this to be very fast. I made a class called tort. In it, we have the initializer. We can change the color, change the line width, and put the pen anywhere we want on the screen, make a line to any point, and set the heading, the angle. If you tell it to end, it makes an image and shows it to you. You can move forward, backward, right, you can move left, all the standard turtle commands. We can draw an arc, you can draw a sector, it can draw text and rotate that text. And I have another class called target. Target draws the background image, all of these sectors with the text inside them as a PNG. This is the initializer. You're sending it a copy of the tortoise, the number of items that you're going to draw and what those items are. The draw function using the tortoise draws all of the arcs, puts the text inside them. This is the part that draws all the arcs. This is the part that draws all the text. Then it will save the image as target.png. I have target.png. If I destroy that and I destroy arrow PNG, if I run the code, it will make those on the fly. Notice I don't have the target and I don't have the arrow in here. I run it, it will make that. It's made the target and it's made the arrow. If we run it, then after that we have the arrow, drawing an arrow using tortoise commands. The arrow class takes as an argument the tortoise. Using the turtle commands, it draws an arrow. It's saving all the points from where it's drawing the arrow. It's drawing the arrow without pen being down. Start off with the pen being false. It's taking all the points and putting that into an array of points. Then it is making a graphic from that array of points. Using Pillow, it's saving the graphic as a cropped image called arrow PNG. It builds the arrow. Then I have a class called Spinner, which puts the target and the arrow together and is able to rotate the arrow using Pygame. That's the project. The output looks like this. You can make a spinner. If you have to make a decision about something and multiple choices, you can put them in and spin it and it will choose for you. That's my project. Have a good day.